So the night of the zombie bass. <laughs> We are headed to the bay, I believe. We're gonna be fishing for sheep's head, tog. I've never, never caught those. Don't know what they are. Um, and a whole other list of species. But I'm gonna try and get a few hours in here before the sun goes down, and then maybe do some fishing after dark. Um, try and get as many species as possible. Uh, we're gonna be using crabs. We've never fished with crabs on the tour. We're never targeted sheep's head before, so it should be a few good firsts for this little trip here with the with a chase from Tackle Direct. What's wrong with Sugarland? What are you doing? Shooting B-roll? Yeah. Go Dill. We're going fishing. Crab here in one socket. Not the back, just like that. That's it. That's it. You drop it down, you'll feel a nibble it. Yeah. You'll get like three or four small nibbles, and then you'll get one that's like a little harder to thump it. They'll play with it, they'll pick the legs off and all that stuff. Okay. You want your drag locked. When you feel that like third or fourth tap that's a little harder, Hard as you can. Jack them. I like it. Yeah. Small, very small. They bend that rod over there. Ooh, little tog. Sweet. Nasty. Oh yeah. He's got buck teeth. If I can oh, get like him open. Head? Yeah, uh, a little uglier than sheep's head teeth. Oh man. Tough to see. Don't want to put your hands in that. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to get a little bit of a bigger one. Yeah. So new species on the tour. We got tog. I've never heard Ta -tog. of these fish until. Ta tog. <laughs> Ta tog. <laughs> All right, man. Nice work. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, man. Dude, that guy thumped it. He's probably the only one down there and he's just been feasting. <laughs> That's cool. Nice little fish. Pretty. Got him! Got him! Looks like a good one, man. It's a decent one. Come on, baby. I felt the thump that time. Oh, yeah. Good Woo. one, man. Oh, oh could have had the double. That was a good boy. Let's awesome. See if I can get it. First tog. Look at that. New species for the tour. Nice. For me personally. Oh, man. There. It's <laughs> super slimy. Super slime. Oh, there it goes. Is that puking or. I don't even know. Alright, we're gonna get this fish back in. Get another one, eating them crabs on the bottom. Not bad. Little black fish. So this is what, your, that's your fifth fish, seventh fish now? Seventh fish? Oh, I should have counted. If, I, if only I had the, the tracker, I would know. Yeah. Doubleheader big tog, baby. Doubleheader. When the big ones are biting now. Oh, I snagged them. <laughs> snagged it? He ain't big. Just felt big. Oh, God, right through the belly. 
We're gonna mark this guy up. Snap a picture of him, a little double action. Finally learning this technique, getting a good sized tog in the boat. Jesus teaching us slowly but surely getting the hang of these bites so that's a pretty decent sized one he said if they were in season this would be a keeper so angler Torres scores a good tog I'm gonna get good this eating, guy back man. in good eating what's it what's the comparable taste um a very thick flounder very thick flounder. very thick flounder and why is why do you want the sun down for the striper um because usually the top water bite is like a dust bite Ah. A couple weeks ago, we could have had them on top water all day long, but that water warmed up a little bit. So right now, they're only going to come up for a top water lure, morning and evening. Good deal. So as soon as that sun drops, a little bit more, 15, 20 more minutes, we'll be in a good position to go throw some top water. we caught one of our two species that we wanted to catch we caught a good tog i'd never heard of them before but they fight hard man that one pulled drag yeah the fun fish to catch especially on a jig yeah so that was sweet um we're bouncing over now to where are we going up creeks we're gonna go transition and we're gonna fish the sod banks for topwater striped bass fishing topwater striped bass we tried that once in lanier didn't get any topwater action so hopefully we can make it happen here but We're fishing with the Tactical Angler's Popper here. This thing, it looks pretty. Oh, they chug, man. They, they chug. I'm fishing a Smack It Junior. Jersey Special. Awesome. First toss. Where are we, where are we headed? Just right up in here? Uh, right up in that creek. I would aim for the right side. If that doesn't get bit, hit the left side. Once you get going first. I'll tell you what, this rod is not ready. That just happened out of nowhere. I'm gonna try and double up with you. Good fish. With a backdrop like that. With a backdrop nice. like that, they're all nice. That is a real nice, good fish. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that drops. Look, look from he ate this thing good. Barely hooked. Nice awesome. little striped bass. <laughs> Solid work. Nice sunset. That's beautiful. On the top water. Snap a couple pics of that guy. That is amazing. Right. There she goes. First saltwater striped yeah, bass. Yeah, man. Tour. Awesome work, bud. I got him. Yes. Woo. You see how I have this hook fish? This fish hook. <laughs> I've never seen this happen before. That is silly. Never in my life. He really was angry. I got a bass ball. <laughs> bass ball. That's a bass ball. Oh my god. <laughs> Another nice little schoolie for the top water. So what we're doing right now, we're running and gunning. We got daylight fading, as you guys can see. He's already got two stripers in the boat. We've got a whole boatload of tog going on. I mean, the fishing's been great so far, so I'm just trying to get my first striper. And um, I think we're hitting, we're gonna hit a few more spots here before sun goes down and then check the plan after that. Look at that. Chase has got us out here, tackle direct. 
showing us the way. That's what we were looking for there, man. What we get them on? Let's show these. Yeah. Show them this. Show them the real quick. A little tangle. Yeah, a big tangle. Smack it, Junior, and the tactical angler popper. Beautiful. You can get both these to tackle direct too. So. 100%. We're going to get these fish back in. Yeah. Awesome. So we're changing up now. We were throwing the poppers while it was still light out. Um, now we're going to be switching up to some swim bait style. Yeah, those are called lures. Tamiki Gizzard Shads. And here we got Tamiki Anchovy Shads. You find these in Tackle Direct stores too? You find these in Tackle Direct. And these are all you need to catch yourself some back bay striped bass. Awesome. Those are sweet. I didn't see these guys. Those are really yeah, that good. Bait we we get, were gonna make. Yeah. Yeah. We get little uh, like spearing <laughs> bay anchovies. Yeah. And the little peanut bunker right now too, and that's okay. like the best thing you could possibly fish to to mimic one of those. It's right here. It's coming up. <laughs> Got it. Oh boy, here we go. He's a Got him. Yes, sir. Yes, son. Woo! Yeah, that's what I'm talking that's about. That's a killer fish. That's a killer fish. That's a way fish. to end the night, brother. Woo. Wow, man. Yeah, boy. Woo. Catching pigs. What'd you catch that on? On the gizzard shad. On the gizzard shad. From the Miki, right? Yep. One of those baits you love. Oh, yeah. I can't even reach this jig. Go. Yeah. Nice work, man. There we go. Gee. Oh, yeah. There he is. Got him. Got him. I have no idea if it's a good fish or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got him right here. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm a little guy. It's all right. It's still fun. Woo hoo hoo. Get them all spined up and everything. These fish are beautiful. Yeah. All right, you're on the angler tour, baby. We're gonna mark this fish up. Make sure you guys know where we got him. Angler.com slash tour. Living here in Joyzee. I'm living the dream. I went out to school in uh, Pittsburgh at IUP for two years. And I was getting tortured out there catching smallmouth bass. I was like, I need my stripers, man. I need my salt water. So after two years out there, I made the call and go to school down here and live in my summer home. So I'm living here year round and doing my thing, fishing every night. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> living the dream. So right here, guys, you're walking into our 25,000 square foot warehouse facility. Um, everything you see in the center of this of this aisle right here is all stuff being received. Um, this cart right here is a pick cart. So our guys are pick specialists. They go around with one of these. Every one of these boxes is in order going out to you at home. Um, and what they'll do is they'll walk in a, in a predetermined pattern, the fastest way to pick a cart. So it's all predetermined, you know, up and down the aisles. They'll pick it. They'll bring it to the ship stations, which we'll show you in a little bit, and uh, it'll ship out to you, where it'll be packed and shipped out to you. Um, this aisle right here is full of clothing, basically. All the way floor to ceiling, clothing, tackle boxes, stuff like that. Um, more reels. The tsunamis I told you about earlier that were, uh, were, were picked over pretty well in the case are all right here, you know, getting ready to be stocked again. So this is uh, this is the 5,000. A lot of guys been waiting for this reel to come back in the stock. Hundred dollar reel, waterproof, sealed, everything like that. There's more stuff that's got to be stocked. All the seals are right here. And these aisles up to up to the front. Here's Mike, one of our pick specialists. Now he's got a full brand new cart. Got to go out. More reels. There's all the, all the lures are up against that wall.